What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have my Elimination Chamber 2018 predictions. The pay-per-view is on Sunday. I'm very, very excited. The Elimination Chamber is one of my favorite stipulations in WWE history. Not only on Sunday do we have the first ever seven-man Elimination Chamber, but we have our very first women's Elimination Chamber. I think the men's will very much outweigh the women's just because the participants in the women's just, it just isn't my favorite. I just... I don't think Absolution should be throwing it, it thrown in there at all. I just don't agree with that. However, the men's is absolutely stacked. We have, you know, just a slew of great superstar talent in there, and I cannot wait for it. The card is not very uh, booked up very well either, guys. We only have like four confirmed matches and then a contract signing for a superstar that I could literally give a crap about. So, for that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into this card. Before we get into the card, guys, let's go ahead and talk about Ronda Rousey's Raw contract signing that will be taking place at this pay-per-view. I really do not care about Ronda Rousey. Never liked her in UFC. Won't like her in WWE. I just don't like how she comes in without wrestling a match and everybody's so hyped up about it and they're going to push her to the moon or whatever they're going to do with her. I just do not care and I hope she doesn't take away any spots from people that have been in wrestling their entire lives and worked very hard towards it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. However, we know the rumor is supposed to be a mixed tag match match between Triple H and Stephanie McMahon taking on Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle or The Rock or Braun Strowman or whoever they are supposed to fill in that. But whatever happens at WrestleMania, I think it will all start right here. Maybe Triple H comes out, maybe another superstar, maybe her male tag team partner comes out. Most likely will be Kurt Angle because The Rock is having, you know, some negotiation issues. So I think that that will take place here and that's all I'm going to say about this contract signing. Next up, we have our first match right here, guys, between Woke and Matt Hardy taking on Bray Wyatt. And if you're like me, guys, I feel like this is already so very stale. You know, they've had, like, a bunch of dumb AF promos going back and forth just laughing at each other. Nothing real. No real content involved right there. They had a match at Raw 25, which was literally awful. I hated the match. I wanted to cut it off. It was very, very boring. And um, I don't know. This feud just feels like it's gone on forever. And I feel like every feud that Bray Wyatt has is that way. And I feel like they probably did the Woken slash Broken thing way too late. And it's lost its steam. I hope I'm wrong. Maybe my, Matt Hardy, after this feud, can revive it. I'm sure he can. He's an absolute beast. But this match, I really do not care about. I'm going to go with Matt Hardy just because Bray beat him at Raw. 25. I hope the match is a lot better than their first one, but I gotta go with Matt Hardy. Up next, I don't even know if the bar has a championship match on this card. If it is at the time of this recording, it has not been confirmed yet. However, whoever they're fighting, whether it be Titus Catering, The Club, The Revival, whoever, I think the bar are gonna win. They haven't built up anybody just enough uh, yet, in my opinion, for them to take the titles off the bar. So I'm gonna go with the bar retaining if they even have a match on this card. Uh, if they do, it probably won't be a very good one or a long one. However, going with the bar. Next up, we have the singles matchup between Asuka and Nia Jax. And whoever booked this storyline, whoever booked this matchup right here, should literally be jacked right in the throat because it makes absolutely zero sense. You had your Asuka right here go in the Royal Rumble, take out 29 other women, outlast them all, win the Degum thing, earn a title opportunity at WrestleMania, and you just pooped on it and gave it to Nia Jax in this matchup right here and gave her an opportunity to take that away from Asuka. Makes zero sense. Nia Jax did absolutely nothing to be in this predicament right here, and I'm very sickened by what they are doing here. Um, there's two ways this match could go. You could have Asuka win, obviously, or you can have a double count out, make both of them look strong, since both of them are going to be in title matches at WrestleMania. Um, Nia Jax, whoever she's going to face, most likely Alexa Bliss. Um, if she gets double counted out, she can go ahead and say, well, you know, I didn't lose, and then Asuka could challenge Charlotte, therefore leaving nobody to take on the Raw Women's Champion at WrestleMania. That's what I'm going to go with. Hopefully Asuka wins, but I could totally see in this go to a double count out. Again, terrible, terrible, awful booking. Whoever booked this should be fired from WWE Creative. Next up, we have the Raw Women's Championship first time ever women's elimination chamber match. And I gotta go ahead and say, guys, stay to the end of the video for a special blooper clip that I think you guys will get a kick out of. So definitely stay tuned till the end of the video. But getting into this matchup, guys, I don't think there's any other way it could go. Fantasy booking wise, there is, but I think that Alexa Bliss is gonna walk into this thing as champion and walk out of it. As terrible as her title reign has been, I think they're gonna book Alexa Bliss taking on Nia Jax at WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Championship. So that's what I'm gonna go there. Um, of course, uh, in a perfect world, we would have Sasha Banks or Bayley win the title and the opposite of them turn heel on the other and beat them up. 
to uh, go on to WrestleMania for their match, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going Alexa Bliss retaining her championship, first ever Women's Elimination Chamber. And for our main event, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Men's Elimination Chamber, the first ever seven-man elimination chamber. The winner of this will indeed go on to fight the Beast Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania for the Universal Championship. Competing in this matchup, we have Elias, Seth Rollins, the Intercontinental Champion Miz, John Cena, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, and the big dog Roman Reigns. This matchup should be nothing less than incredible. Of course, this is the first ever seven man's uh, elimination chamber, so we should see a triple threat to start off. First time ever. Um, that seems to be a theme here in WWE for 2018, just pushing first time ever's down our throat. I highly doubt we get a newly built chamber. That just wouldn't make any sense. It would throw off the structure. So I'm going to say they're going to start with a triple threat. Um, it's probably going to be The Miz, Finn Balor, and Seth Rollins is what I would guess since, you know, Seth and Finn had to be added from a second chance uh, Fatal 5 way. That would be how I would guess this thing would go. Elias obviously comes out last. He will be playing his guitar and singing the entire time in his pod. I think that should be hilarious. Hopefully not cheesy and crappy. I hope they actually go somewhere with that. He may not do it, but I think they should. I think they should give him a chance to, you know, further his character that way. I'm going to go ahead and say, and I think everybody already knows, that the big dog Roman Reigns will be winning this matchup. I just don't see it going any other way. They've been trying to book this thing for a year. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Universal Championship with Roman Reigns holding the title high in New Orleans at WrestleMania 34. I think that will happen most likely, guys. I, it would be awesome to see Seth Rollins added to that matchup to, you know, have everything come full circle from WrestleMania 31 when Seth cashed in. I just don't see it happening here. However, I would love it. So I'm going to go ahead and predict Roman Reigns winning this matchup. Um, I think that the program for WrestleMania 34 between The Miz and Finn Balor will start here. Hopefully we get an Undertaker interference costing John Cena. Maybe that sets up there, and we'll probably see some other WrestleMania feuds start at this pay-per-view, if not on the following night on Monday Night Raw. But I think that this match should be incredible. A lot of great spots, a lot of hard hitting, and I hope it doesn't disappoint. 2017's Elimination Chamber was great. Hopefully this one will match it. But that pretty much does it for my predictions, guys. Leave yours down below. Leave a like on this video. Again, comment what you think is going to happen at this pay-per-view down below. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Up next, we have the Women's Elimination Chamber match. First 